Hey guys, welcome back to Closet MTG. And today, guys, we're doing another unboxing, guys, from Crimson Val. We got a Commander deck box here, guys. This is going to be the next EDH deck tech that I do. It's going to be on Strefon. Um, yeah, so today we're just going to crack this box, guys, and go through the deck, go through the cards, maybe talk through some of the. Just, I don't know, just, we're not going to talk through any of the synergies. We're just going to see what we got here, you know? See what's in here. Little unboxing. Wow, this thing just literally ripped apart. Notice these tokens, guys. I, very cool. Little token, little magic symbol, war spark symbol, whatever that is. And wow, look, look how finely packed in. They they literally could just give us this. Why do we need to get this giant box, man? I don't know. Strap on, all badass. And what else do we get in here? We get. Ah, uh, this thing, which is a waste of space, a little spin down, very cool spin down, and looks like we got like a map to something, and the deck, guys. So let me crack this, tear this open with my fingernails, there we go, and let's go through the cards, guys. We got a Strephon Mar Protogenitor. This guy's a vampire, guys, so we're making a vampire EDH deck, theme deck. Very excited. Let's see what this guy does. Well, he's flying. Four drops, a two colorless, black and red. A little three, two, and at the beginning of your end step, he's a vampire noble, beginning of your end step, create a blood token for each player who lost life this turn. All right, so be creating blood tokens. And then whenever Strephon attacks, you may sacrifice two or more blood tokens. If you do, you may put a vampire card from your hand onto the battlefield tap and attacking it gains indestructible until end of turn that is crazy man how the power level has like gone up recently man holy hell that is some crazy power we're going to be getting the sickest most badass vampires in the history of magic and we're throwing them in this deck guys but that being said that's strephon we'll keep strephon off to the side and we're just going to start going through these cards guys because so we got timinar baron of bats well, Vampire Noble has got the ward, and looks like he has a way to create some bat tokens. So very cool. Little mythic action right there. So we got the Blood Tithe Harvester. One thing I did realize, guys, is Blood Tithe Harvester, the ability the bottom on the bottom side, um, you can only activate it at sorcery speed. So it's not nearly as powerful as you think it is. I actually was playing recently in a FNM and somebody tried to do this exact same thing to me at instant speed, sacrifice the Blood Tithe Harvester. Um, to wipe out one of my creatures after blockers were, were established. And, uh, yeah, he got called out. <laughs> you know, I didn't call him out. Actually, somebody next to me called, called him out. Um, but, um, but yeah, Blood Tithe Harvester, not instant speed, but still decent vampire. Okay. So we got more creatures. We'll keep the creatures here. There we go. Okay. So we got Ancient Craving, draw three cards, lose three life. Oh. One of my favorite Magic the Gathering cards, guys. This card, I'm a huge fan of, like, um, uh, what the hell is it called? The Aristocrats theme, where you have, like, humans or little guys, and you sack them, and then, like, you ping the, sort of drain your opponent. Maybe it's called Stacks or something. A lot of Stacks triggers. Anyway, Blood Artist, just badass card, guys. Bloodline Necromancer, so lifelink, enters the value, enters the battlefield, return target vampire wizard from or wizard creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield five drop three four lifeline that seems pretty good guys falcon wrath noble and you can enter the battlefield you could probably get double trigger with stref on there falcon wrath noble again just drain and it seems like maybe somewhat of an aristocrat's build with blood artist and falcon wrath i completely forgot about falcon wrath noble it is a four drop though feed the swarm some cheap removal not the greatest uh, Indeng indulgent aristocrat, little one drop. Wow, and you could. This is look at this card, a one drop with life link. Tap two to sack a creature and put a one one counter on each vampire. My God, OP. Knight's Whisper. As you can see with Ancient Craving and Knight's Whisper, guys. I mean, obviously card draw is going to be definitely a disadvantage, or drawing cards is definitely not the strength of this deck. <laughs> So I could, I'm not surprised to see as many card draw cards. Urge the feed, little removal, weak removal, vampire nighthawk, just be yeah, a legendary card in magic. Okay, now we got some red stuff here. So we got rakish air. Whenever vampire you control, just combat damage, one one counter. 
solid card, man. I'm, I really haven't seen anything aside from maybe some of the weaker sorceries that I'm immediately going to take out. So far, all these creatures are pretty solid. Stentia, uh, Masquerade, Titan Creatures at First Strike. Yeah, oh, it's got Madness on an enchantment. That's pretty cool. Vandal Blast, throwing some artifacts. Rakdos Charm. Keep the instants and the sorceries in the same pile. Stormkirk Captain. Got to have that, that, uh, um, yeah, the, uh, what the heck's it called? Uh, uh, anyway, where, uh, you give all the other creatures of the given type plus one plus one. I forget the word for it off the top of my head, guys, but yeah, it's good to definitely need to have some Stormkirk Captain and more, more other cards that give all vampires plus one plus one. Arcane Signet, Charcoal, to, okay, now we're into the, the artifact section. And this, I think, is the mistake, well, I've made in some recent videos, is, is taking out, or recent deck techs, is taking out a lot of the mana rocks. Um, yeah, I just get so excited that with all the different cards you can throw in an EDH deck, guys. Uh, I just, yeah, I want to play them versus mana, but it's like, all right, if you, if you have mana issues, you can't do anything, so it's not fun. So, anyway, here's a bunch of solid artifacts. we got Swiftfoot Boots. we got the Obelisk. Wow, what is this? I haven't seen this. Unstable ob obelisk. You can sack a permanence. It's a mana rock, and you can later on destroy permanent. It seems pretty good. Command tower. Okay, we're into some lands. Just basic lands. It should be in every EDH deck. Okay, here, back to some creatures. Here we go. So we got Crossway Troublemakers. Uh, <laughs> gives each vampire you control death touch and life link. Seems pretty awesome. When a vampire you control dies, you may pay two if you... Yeah, this is definitely staying in the deck. Uh, glass cast heart. Uh, so create blood tokens. Yeah, seems pretty... And what is this at the bottom here? Sacrifice... Tay two, tap it, sacrifice, glass cast heart, and 13 blood tokens. <laughs> Each opponent loses 13 life, and you get... Wow, that's pretty funny. That's cool. Okay, so we got the camber, the plunderer... <laughs> Not seeing a lot of ways to make blood tokens, though. I will say that, guys. If we're going to add some blood token support, if we're going to support the... Well, we're going to have to support the blood token theme with Strephon. Camber the Plunderer. You can partner with a Lorraine the Diversion. I'm guessing Lorraine's coming up. Lifelink dies. Game one life. Create a blood... Yeah, okay. Here's how we're creating blood tokens. Olivia's Wrath. Any card with Olivia is definitely staying in the deck. That just seems really cool. One-sided board wipe. Predator's Hour. Gain Menace. Combat Damage. Top card, library, face down, play that, I mean, exiles. Eh, we'll see. Pretty cool. Shadow Guard, Arch Fiends, enters the battlefield, each opponent sacrifices a creature, the greatest power among creatures they control, you gain life. Yeah, I mean, Big Demon, not really a vampire. This is probably one of the first cards I've seen I'm probably going to take out. Um, Arterial, Ar Ar Arterial Alchemy, um, enters the battlefield. Okay, so we're creating blood tokens and equipments, a little equipment theme there. Sorceries, Imposing Grandeur, uh, yeah, start their hand, and draw cards, yeah, we can definitely find a better card than Imposing Grandeur, uh, Laureen, the Diverse, here's Laureen, we can partner with, definitely, uh, we'll see if we can keep that theme in there, both of them, Markov and Forcer, six, six drop, damn, Forcer, or another vampire in the battlefield, fights up to one, yeah, Definitely like that fight ability. That's pretty awesome. Midnight, Ar Midnight Arsonist enters the battlefield. Destroy up X artifacts without a man abilities where X is the number of vampires you control. Ah, it seems pretty decent. Very situational though. Sign of Opulence. Um, yeah, sacrifice some blood tokens. Get some card advantage. Oh, seems pretty good. Three drop, three one though. We got the Sinister Waltz. Not sure if that's going to be in the deck. Uh, Anawan, the, Anawan the Rune Sage. What is this guy? Being of your upkeep, each player sacrifices a non vamp <laughs> That's funny. That's definitely going to stay in. All right, let's make some more room for these creatures, guys. Let me move the sorceries over. Second slot for creatures. Okay, so we got another mythic, so Bloodlord of Vashgoth. Bloodthirst. What is Bloodthirst? Whenever opponent was dealt damage this turn, this creature enters the battlefield. Whoa, that's pretty awesome. Blood, so you can become a 6-6 six, six for 5 when you cast against Bloodthirst 3. Wow, that's pretty funny. Bloodthirst, I haven't even heard of that ability before. Blood Tracker, a little 4 drop, flying, very cool. Leaves the battlefield, draw a card for each one. Wow. Draw a card. Butcher, the Butcher, we got the Butcher. I feel like he's been in every deck recently. Champion of the Dusk, 
Atrox cards and where's number vampires you control. Cordial Vampire, Little Modern Horizons 2, Damnation Pact, Drox Cars, Lose X Life, Dark Imposter, uh, Exile Dark Creature Card, put a one counter on Dark Imposter. Wow, it has all the activated abilities, interesting. And we get a one one counter, six, six mana, we'll see, we'll see. Decent card. Malachar, Blood Witch, there's the Battle Feature, Lose Like Another Vampires, yeah. A little drain effect. A lot of drain effects in this build seems flying. And there's the, whenever a creature you control deals combat damage, we'll encounter on it. So it seems like there's a lot of that. Another mythic. Damn, when you tap doubles, doubles your your, your swamp mana and you can give them plus one plus one. Six drop four four. We'll see if it stays. Patron Patron of the Vein. And it's about a short target creature card and opponent controls. Whenever a creature opponent controls dies, but it won't count. Some definitely some serious die triggers in this deck. Stack triggers. Whenever in vampire you control attacks, oh, yeah. A lot of this is this is a powerful build I'm seeing here, guys. A lot of ways to pump up your vampires, a lot of support, underworlds, pay one life, draw a card. Wow. Second enchantment. Okay, we got Anya's Ravager, Attack Sheets Combat. Tax this card your hand and draw three cards. Seems somewhat situational, but we got the madness. All these madness cards, man, with the freaking um the the blood tokens. It's definitely gonna be solid solid synergy. Madness deals two damage divided. If you madness comes to deals X damage. Damn. That's pretty awesome. Wow. Damn. Blasphemous, wow, like Blasphemous Axe is actually printed. This this card's definitely going to go to zero. <laughs> We're definitely going to take a hit financially. Blasphemous Act, very cool. Bloodstorm, uh, Commander Creatures you control have, wow. Make freaking Strephon a beast. Very cool. Crimson Honor Guard, does four damage. Get some, and getting some of the weaker vampires here. Each each vampire card, well, it's a one drop. It is on the battlefield, it has madness cards. You, my god. 2-1 with an awesome ability. Holy hell. Mob rule. Gain control of all creatures. With power 4 grants on the turn. On top of these creatures. They gain... This is crazy. Wow. Oh my god. There's so many fun cards in Commander. Holy hell. Just a one-sided take all creatures. Molten of... Molten Echoes. There's an extra creature type. Whenever a non tone creature type enters the battlefield. Wow. There's some pretty bomb cards. A lot of these cards I've never even heard before, guys. Stronger Occultist, a little Madness. Vampiric Dragon, that's so cool. We got a Vampire Dragon. I got to keep this in for just for theme, man. That's so cool. I think I got the old school Vampiric Dragon from like, I want to say like Odyssey or something like that, but very cool. We got a little Vampiric Dragon action. Okay, now we're into the lands. Probably is going to be it, guys. I would assume a lot of the... Two drop lands, we've got Temple of the False God, and what else we got here? A bunch of other lands, and blood tokens, endless blood tokens, and we got a cool strap on the mower. Guys, this is gonna be tough, I'm not gonna lie, like, there's a lot of power in this, in this EDH deck. I mean, this is a pretty solid, from my, at least from my initial take, and maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm not seeing something here, but... There's, uh, this is, from my opinion, this is a better deck than Will Hell out of the box. Um, just seeing some of the power in some of these cards. And I only saw probably a handful of cards that right away I'm like, I'm taken out. Um, but we definitely got to, we do know that there are a lot more powerful vampires in the history of magic that we can add. Specifically, we got to make sure we find a slot for our buddy right here, Edgar Markov, baby, just came in the mail. Definitely going to slot this guy into the deck somewhere for sure. Um, but definitely excited for that. That's definitely going to be a shoe in I do have, I mean, obviously, um, the new Innistrad sets, there's a lot of good vampire support there with Olivia and so forth and the Planeswalkers. Um, I can think off the top of my head, the Soren that was printed in, in Core 20 is going to go in this deck. And I, uh, old Olivia's... From the original Innistrad, um, for sure, definitely going to be shoe-ins. But it's going to be tough, guys. I mean, again, there's I, off the top of my head, there was only probably just going through this on the spot without looking at this deck list previously. I can maybe three or four cards right away. Um, but I'm definitely going to have to take some time putting this one together. That said, um, 
I'd expect this maybe like one or two weeks from now, guys. New EDH, a revamped version of this deck. Um, I already have a few cards, like I said, um, that are on the way, aside from Edgar, um, to sort of spice this thing up. But, uh, yeah, looking forward to that, guys. Hope you enjoyed this little introduction to uh, Strephon, Mauer, Protogenitor. Um, I, maybe just one last thing I just sort of popped in my head is we definitely need to support the Blood Token theme if this guy's going to be our commander. So I need to potentially look at pulling, maybe pulling out some of the vampire synergies to make more blood, to blood tokens. And if we can keep it on theme with vampire, that's great. But blood tokens are definitely going to be needed, especially if we can get out Strephon early and then just have bomb, bomb vampires in our hands and just keep playing, swinging and having fun that way. <laughs> That's it, guys. Um, yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. Um, maybe just a short, um, brief uh, exit here, um, a little few uh, blurbs. Um, I will be doing a Will Health the Rock Cleaver revised um, part two. Um, I've gotten a lot of great feedback from um, um, from, from from the viewers of this channel. Some 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 great comments just regarding. Um, some of the decisions that I made as part of um, uh, version 1.0. Um, definitely need to fix some of the mana issues and so forth, even though I haven't had a ton of gameplay with a deck just yet. I have noticed some mana issues. Um, and also just some better, some better, some great, some, I think one of the comments was, uh, taking out Butcher and Malakar because I was kind of on the fence of when keeping him in the deck and switching with Dictative Erebos. Um, so definitely, uh, that was some great feedback. I didn't even know Dictative Erebos actually even existed, guys. So, um, Definitely going to do a Will Health the Rock Cleaver 2.0. I will be doing an Atraxa. And for those of you who have been following my channel for a while, Atraxa is the very first EDH deck, tech, deck that I've ever made and the very first EDH deck tech that I did on this channel. Um, so definitely going to do a revised Planeswalker Atraxa build. So I'm excited for that. Um, and uh, yeah, again, just want to uh, also, guys, that my, I, I officially have uh, surpassed 200 subscribers so i will be doing a 200 subscriber thank you and tribute video um that's also coming up probably within the next week or so it's going to be a doozy guys i'm again i got some great feedback uh, from the comment section on how i'm going to be taking that i uh, definitely want to give a shout out to some other channels and giving me some advice there in, in those regards that being said guys as always please like subscribe hit the bell icon and we will catch you soon for the next mt G content related video and we'll end on yeah marveling at Edgar and Strefan and it's gonna be a fun build guys I'm excited everyone take care